I'm River Bay, and welcome to my gun kingdom. What we have here is an Armor Light AR-10 uh, three-gun competition. And uh, it's a 308. It comes with a 25-round clip. It has an ambidextrous safety on it. Uh, it has a really big, nice, thick uh, grip on it. A rubbery grip that you can get a hold of real nice. Fits my, fits my hand really nice. You can adjust the comb on it and also adjust the stock on it if you need more room. In fact, I had to shorten the stock this morning to get it into the lead sled. What's, uh, what sets this gun apart from uh, just like a duty rifle or something like that is it has a single stage Timney trigger in it. And that's the way it came um, is with that trigger. Now, Timney trigger employed on the gun that set the world record at 4.4 miles. Uh, just recently at the time this video is being made. So I don't know if this is the same exact temperature, but this is a single stage. So it's a four pound pull, which you want on an AR-10. Then when you go down to an AR-15, you want a three pound pull. So this is a four pound pull. It's, it's, it wouldn't be something you want to use for home protection, that's for sure, because it's a real light trigger. Um, a home protection gun or a duty gun would be uh, uh, around six to seven pound pull. Okay, it did come with this aggressive muzzle brake here. And also, um, it didn't come with any uh, spring in the back, buffer spring. So the only thing, if I was going to do any modifications to this gun, it would be changing out the buffer spring and putting in one of those silent captured springs. Um, so I think that would would be beneficial uh, just to smooth it out a little bit. It does come with a forward assist. It doesn't need one though. I couldn't when I was looking to, for one to buy. I couldn't find one without a forward assist. I had to take the forward assist. But with this heavy bolt construction, um, you really don't need it. And if something would ever happen, you'd want to just eject that shell and maybe not use it. You could examine it, but I would just not use it but also your gun may need clean too if some if something would hang up or the it wouldn't go into battery so um, you would check to make sure there wasn't something wrong with the cartridge but anyway um so yeah i i put on this red dot and i have a half inch uh riser um and now something that's important with these red dots is um you want it when you're on three three gun competition or even a home defense gun if this was built for home defense for fast acquisition you really want the red dot as far forward as possible that way you have vision on both sides of your red dot okay and there's no magnification with red dots okay so you don't have to worry about eye relief or anything like that so as you notice i have my scope my red dot all the way forward, as far forward as I can get it. All right. Some people like to line it up in the middle of the ejection port. Okay, but that's not that's not good enough field on both sides for me. So I like it all the way forward as possible. So if you're ever mounting a red dot scope on your competition rifle, you know you might want to check, maybe push it a little bit more far forward, and you always want to leave both eyes open uh, with a three gun issue gun like this anyway but um, and since it doesn't have magnification you can leave both eyes open okay for faster getting on your targets fast all right so anyway it, does, it has a dust cover on it which is nice and uh, it's, just a, it's just a great gun for um, three gun comp you know I you can't get a nicer one especially if you're in if you're in that um, caliber of 308 so you know, Armor Light has a great reputation. They're the forerunners in the AR-10, okay? So uh, they have a long history making these guns. So since they're the forerunner, um, they know what they're doing. And um, it's just a great all-around gun to compete with. And uh, today we're out here at the 50-yard range. And now 
I built my own portable target here that you can see in the background here. So, you know, start out at 25 yards um, and then go to 50 yards with it. And, um, but we'll see how we do and see how accurate we are here today with it. But anyway, um, what do you say we get started shooting? Okay, so we're gonna sight in this red dot here and uh, see how we do now when I'm out in the bright sunlight. Uh, I like to go to the highest power and I can see it fine but if I go anything less than uh, it's, it's number 11 on this red dot if I go anything less than that then um, so this has not been sighted in so I'm going to put the red dot right on the bullseye and that's a smaller bullseye because we're going down to the left the lower lower target now uh, anyway okay we're off a of safe mode this trigger is really light for a four pound trigger here we go taking it out of safe putting the red dot right on the bullseye, covering it right up there. Here we go. Back on safe. Okay. Wind is perfect. We just need to lower it. Here we go. That was it. Safety's coming back on. That shot a little bit higher than the other one did and to the left. So I might have to come back to the right. Let's turn the red dot off. So we're putting that red dot right on the bullseye. Let's see if we our adjustments <coughs> pay off. Uh, coming out of safe mode. All right, we're ready. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Out of safe. Okay. Here we go. I'm really happy with that one now. So I was right. It was me before. So I'm going to make sure I'm going to turn off that red dot. Okay, the red dot's off. We'll put the caps on it because we're going to change the target out to 50 yards here. But uh, yeah, so um, that was pretty much dead on in the bullseye, that last one. So I would say it's zero to 25, and we'll just shoot for fun at 50. So we'll go change the target. Okay, so we are zeroed at um, 25 yards. All right. And this red dot, I could go, let me try one. Let me try different positions. and Because at 11, it pretty much covers up the... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, there's 11. Okay. So we're going to cover up the bullseye on that bottom target with the red dot and see how we do here at 50 yards and see if we have a bullet rise at 50. But now let's throw three down there. Take our chamber flag out. All right, here we go. It's in the safe mode. Do some fine adjusting here. Oh, let's 
bring it off safe. Okay, keep your finger outside the trigger guard until you're ready to fire. Here we go. Back in the safe. Let's see what we did here. Okay. Now we're not going to mess with the adjustments, but you can see I'm high and slightly to the right. Okay. All right. So. What I'm going to do then at 50 is I'm just going to put the bullseye or the I'm going to put the red dot right below the bullseye. So the bullseye will be right on top of my red dot. All right. Okay. Safety's coming off. Here we go. Safety's back on. We pulled that one to the right. Okay, so let's throw one more down there. Me know in the comments section if you have if you do three gun competition let me know where you like to zero your rifle in that that I could have pulled that one so I'm not gonna compensate for that safety's coming off Here we go. Okay. Put the safe back on. Okay. It brought it in a little closer, but uh, we can see that turn the red dot off before I would fire anymore if I was going to continue to shoot this today I would probably bring it back to the uh, 25 yard range and, and uh, try it again or either that or just go ahead and zero it for 50 yards but um, I just wanted to throw a few down there for you and uh, see the bullet rise from 25 to 50 but I hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit that like button and even better yet hit that subscribe button and share it with your friends and uh, make sure you leave a comment down below anything you'd like to see in the future I'd appreciate it but thanks for watching <laughs>